All right, let's go see if we can kill this worm thing. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. Shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and we are starting our new prospect, Livewire Terrain Scan. Uh, so we have six, uh, six and a half days or so, almost seven days to do this. And, ooh, that's, that terrain doesn't look right. Uh, anyway, that's weird. So, yeah, uh, we just landed at the end of episode two and didn't do anything at all other than just land. Uh, so we're going to get started here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to build a significant base here because this is a fairly short mission. Uh, basically, what we have to do is go to three locations, do a scan, uh, we get attacked by critters at each place, and then that's it. So I'd kind of like to do that as quickly as possible. And then I, uh, the, the plan at this point, the tentative plan anyways at this point, is to do the uh, the 30-day prospect where we can kind of spend a little bit of time and get a little more used to the game, build an, a real base, and, um, you know, th and go from there. So that's kind of the plan at this point. Um Everything, of course, is subject to change, but I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, also, just so everybody knows, I have recorded these first few episodes back to back, so I haven't seen comments uh, from episodes one or two yet. Um, so just be aware of that, uh, but do please leave your comments. I definitely want to hear from you guys. And uh, Yeah, okay. So let's see. We need to start by building our, our ba real basic stuff. Now, I want, um, I guess we have to start with the stone stuff because we don't have our bones with us anymore uh, that we got before. So, we'll get these going. Let's get a bow going. And uh, we'll get a spear going just temporarily. Uh, we're going to need some more sticks for that. And, of course, we're going to need some sticks for the... Uh, we can make a bone knife, too, but we'll make a stone knife for now. And I'm going to put the bow in two. We'll put the spear in one once we get it, our melee weapon. And uh, let's see, for the stone arrows, uh, let's make as many of those as we currently can. But uh, let's grab some stone and some more sticks and that sort of thing and get going on that. So, yeah, we're just, you know, we'll probably just do... A minimal base setup. Um, we'll, we'll probably go ahead and set up a maybe a thatch hut again or something like that, but nothing nothing super elaborate. Um, and just oh shit, we got wolf already. Um, and just try and get the this done as quickly as possible. Uh, there goes a the deer. Where's that wolf at? We could actually stand to kill the wolf. Let's grab these pumpkins for later. I heard him over this direction. Now, one thing I wouldn't mind doing, if we can, is get started in the caves. There's the wolf right there. Uh, in this uh, during this prospect, because then we can get in, start getting the metals and the iron, and maybe get into the iron tools, uh, depending upon how our leveling and all that goes, of course. All right, so let's get this wolf. There he is, right there. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm still trying to get used to the bow in here after playing subsistence. So I'm a little awkward with it, but we'll get better. Uh, all right. Where did... Wait. Where did the wolf go? We just dropped him right here. Where'd he go? Oh, no. Did he, like, drop through the world or something? Oh, damn it. We didn't need that to happen. I don't see him anywhere. I think he did. Son of a gun. Okay, well, so much for that then, eh? We miss out on the XP for skinning him and all the, you know, all of his stuff that we could have really used. Well, okay. Nothing we can do about it. Let's just keep... Keep going here. All right, let's grab these pumpkins. And uh, we need to get some 
oxide going for our oxygen. I hope that's not something that happens all the time. I wonder if it's because he was like running under our feet or something. I don't know. That's no bueno, man. No bueno at all. Okay, out of stamina. Let's go to inventory. Pop that in there, and then we'll get the rest of this. And that should tide us over for O2 for quite some time. Okay, grab those pumpkins. Now, I'd like to figure out how we get into these caves. I think there's like a... It has kind of like a flat opening. <clears throat> or not an opening, but a flat, uh, almost vertical wall that covers the entrance that you have to break through. I remember that in the multiplayer game, but I just don't remember where those entrances actually are. This isn't it, is it? No. I think... Okay, I hear another wolf. I think the entrance is... Uh, it's it's pretty f straight up and down. It's fairly obvious, if I remember right. All right. We heard a wolf over this way. All right. That might be it right there. No, I think that's a, one of those goat thingies. Okay, there's a wolf. Right in the noggin. Okay. He's only level four. Is he the only one around here? I hear something snorting. Oh, it's a deer. All right, well, let's get our knife out and take care of this wolf. Any piranhas coming? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, we'll take all of that, and then... I don't know why I keep hitting the frickin' escape key. Okay, we got some bone. Uh, we will make a bone knife and bone arrows and all that sort of thing once we get enough to do so. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, let's hop out here. Um, I don't really know exactly, you know, where we're gonna wanna base up at. Oh, am I out of arrows already? Damn it! All right, let's just follow him and see if he bleeds out. He's not a very high-level deer. Oh. Um. Okay, if we hold to examine, that should give us a trail to follow him. I really like that. That's cool. Oh, more wolf. Okay, we don't want to take on another wolf without more arrows. Let's just come back over here for a second. All right, let's go into crafting and uh, arrows, arrows, arrows. Uh, we can make some bone arrows. How many can we make? Three. All right, let's make three bone arrows, but we're also going to make... Some more stone arrows for now, too. <coughs> until we can get a nice collection of the bone arrows. Uh, let's eat this watermelon right now. And I want to make... Uh, we need to make a spear, too. So we need some sticks. So let's just get some sticks really quick. Did I learn the bone spear? I can't remember if I did or not. Okay, that should be enough for us to make a... Basic wood spear. <coughs> That'll get us started anyway. And that is in slot one. Okay, good. Uh, so now we're a little bit better equipped uh, to kill some more wolves, get some more XP, meet all that good stuff, and then figure out where we're going to set up our, our little base. Now, if we look at the map, uh, we got to go to these three locations. So we're kind of already close to the first one. Could get this deer stuck. It's funny how they they just kind of like run right by you. <laughs> Let's see if we can see where he went. Oh, he's right there. Oh, damn it. 
Okay. We heard the wolf over here, too. Uh, there's one of those chamois. Okay. Nail him in the noggin. I think if we leave the carcass around, it attracts the wolf. We could almost do that. Use it as bait. Let's actually try that a little bit. Let's just kind of get back in the trees here a little bit and just see if one comes by. We won't, you know, do this for really long, but... Oh, wait, is that the wolf down there? Can't tell. I'm not sure how far away, you know, they can detect stuff to... Oh, shit. I'm stuck. What the hell, man? Does this kind of crap happen all the time in this game? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. So we're going to have to cut the tree down. There. Well, so much for being stealthy, huh? Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if a wolf's going to come by. I'm sure they would if they were in range, but they're probably not in range. Oh, there's a big deer up here. Let's see if we can... It almost sounds more like an elk. Is it stuck? No. Very nice. Okay. Got ourselves a deer. So we'll definitely have meat for dinner tonight. Okay, we'll take all of that and get the bones. All right, can we make now a bone knife? We uh, we need a little more stone. Okay, let's get some stone. Now we should be able to make the bone knife. Uh, no, we need wood. Okay, let's get some wood. Oh, shit, that's going to fall on my head. Is it? Which way is it going to go? It looked like it was falling towards me. Okay. We'll get the stump. Why not? Get XP for every time we hit it, so we might as well do it. And then... Get all that stuff out of the way. Get a few more pieces of wood. Okay, now we should be able to make the bone knife. Okay, so let's craft that. We'll get rid of the stone knife. And we now have a bone knife, which is great. Uh, did I learn the bone spear? I don't remember if I did or not. Probably not. Okay, so let's start making bone arrows. Um, oh, we should just make one? Okay, yeah. We definitely need to kill more stuff and get more bones. Okay, so I, I feel like I'm just maybe a little bit scatterbrained right now, but... <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. I'm trying to pick those pumpkins. Uh, let's see if we can find this cave entrance. Now, I know we got to go in and kill these... What's that? Oh, a carrot. Nice. One thing I like about this game, I've noticed, is when you find something like a carrot, for example, they are kind of a bunch of them together in a patch. Okay, we heard another wolf over this way. I don't really want to spend a lot of time right now, you know, chopping wood and stuff like that. I'd, I'd rather, like, hunt and do a little exploring, because wood chopping is something you, I can do at night. Even though I can't see anything, I can still do it anyways. Okay, where's that wolf at? I heard him off this way. There he is. Does he detect us? Oh, yeah, he does. I can't see what the hell's going on, so let's uh, spear him. Oh. Oh, another one. Okay, that's two. Combat music has stopped, so... I think we're okay now. Okay, let's get him. 
Get the XP, get the bones, get the meat, get the hide, that kind of thing. And we got a level, baby. Woot! Don't hit the frickin' escape key. Okay. Um, and good. We got the other one, too. It didn't sink into the ground like that first one did. <clears throat> okay. And we'll get the bones from him as well. Okay, cool. Now, let's uh, make some more bone arrows. Max is eight. Very good. Very good, very good. All right, I want to go up this way and see... Um, let's repair this too. Oh yeah, we got we got stuff. Let's go to talents first. We'll go to solo. Um, so that's blueprint boost gives us three blueprint points. We are gonna do that. I like this very very quiet one. Fifty percent perceived threat while stealthed. Minus fifty percent perceived threat. But you know what? Let's um let's do bounce back. For quick health regeneration first. Kind of get the, those out of the way and then we'll work on some of those other things. Okay, so now we can make a bone spear or a bone sickle or an upgrade tool. We also can make some medical items there or a floor torch. This would be actually very handy for working at night, wouldn't it? Pre-standing torch required sticks for fuel. Um, very handy. We already got the that. Um, armor would not be bad to do, of course. I think we got all the basic building stuff to make just a real basic hut. Uh, even though it is going to be out of thatch, which kind of sucks, but... So, let's do the... Hmm. Bone Sickle's going to help with gathering grass and that sort of thing. I think I want to do the floor torch. Let's do that. We got flare arrows, poison arrows, antibiotic paste... Heat bandage. What does that do exactly? For treating frostbite. Okay. So a splint if we break our leg. And a parasitic paste. Blood thinning paste. What's this for? Um, less 50% physical trauma. Afflictions on self. And plus 15% health regeneration. Suture kit. What's this for? Suture kit modifier for one second. It's just a basic medical kit, it says, for healing deep wounds. Okay, we also got the fire pit, which is going to be handy, I'm sure. I think we can maybe put more stuff in here for swift cooking and heating. Um. Okay, I think we're going to do the bone spear, and we will do the upgrade thing, but let's do the fire pit for now. Okay, it's done. Now, can we make the bone spear? Crafting. Where is the bone spear? Wood spear, bone spear. Uh, oh, man, we need 40 bone for that. Okay. So let's keep hunting. And again, you know, uh, especially now that I can do the, the floor torch. Oh, there's another wolf. Do the floor torch. Did we kill him? Yeah, we did. Are there any more around? Sometimes when there's one, there's more. Uh, you know, now that we can do the floor torch, we can do more work at nighttime. We only got three bones out of that. Well, here. We'll get more bones out of this, too. Okay, so we got 18 bones. Very nice. Let's put these right here. And we're going to have to get some more of those fairly soon. Okay, let's keep hunting for the moment. Here's some more uh, carrots. Yep, we'll grab those. Uh, here's some sulfur. I believe, don't we need that for the torch? I think we might. I know we need it for something, so let's just grab it. Well, my plan is, is to, you know, hunt for a little bit longer, and then sometime in the afternoon-ish, we'll start thinking about where we're going to actually do our base location. Stamina is depleted. For the floor tart. Yeah, see, we need sulfur for this. Good. I'm glad we came across this then. We'll just grab all of it. Very good. Okay. So, let's uh, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, it doesn't really show us a whole lot, does it? At this point. Alright. I'm going to 
go along this way. Pick up some more pumpkins. Uh, oh, here's a cave and another wolf. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we found a cave. Um. All right, so this kind of changes my plans a little bit. Since we found a cave, maybe we'll stay right near here. I know we have to be careful going in here because we can get... Oh, shit! Uh, pneumonia, and we got those guys to deal with, too. Uh, and my health's actually... You know what? I'm bleeding. Uh, we should probably fix that. <laughs> I just noticed that. Goodness. Um, all right. Let's just make a bunch of those. And we're going to put those in the zero slot. And let's take one. Uh, no, we have to hold it down, right? Yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah, gosh, I didn't even realize I was bleeding. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I think we can go in and melee these dudes. Can we repair this? Yes. What does what does more damage? This does 49 to 55 melee. This does 45 to 50 melee. All right, so this actually does a little more damage. All right, let's go see if we can kill this worm thing. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. Shit. Is he dead? Okay, he did. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, we, you know, we actually probably better take a torch in there. It is dark as hell. Um, we'll make one of these torches. So we need some fiber and sticks. I don't believe there's anything in the cave we can catch on fire. Uh, well... Could be wrong about that. Alright, is that enough to make the torch? Yeah, let's make the torch. And we should also probably make a fire whacker thing too. It's a good idea to have one of those on hand if we're going to have a torch. Alright, let's put those extra bandages there. We'll put the torch in six and the fire whacker in seven. Alright, let's try this again. So I think that's copper. That's coal, maybe? That might be iron. There's a decent amount of resources in here. And water, too, for that matter. Okay. Um, well, especially since we have a little bit of water available to us there. I know we don't want to stay in here because, again, uh, of the pneumonia thing. But maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll build our first base just right in right here by the cave. I don't see why not. Um, it's not going to be anything elaborate either. It's just going to be a very basic affair. Is it already getting dark? Um. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's 1740. So. Uh, what, about 5? Almost 6 o'clock in the evening. Wow. Okay, well, I think that's our plan for now. We're going to stay here. Um, I don't know if this is actually going to be worthwhile because how long is it going to take before we can actually get into using metal, uh, you know, and making that worthwhile? Not really sure, but we're going to have to make ourselves a little storm shelter thing. Uh, this rock here might be our best bet for that. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so let's make our cubby hole. I mean, I guess even if we can't use the metal, I think we'll get pretty decent XP for mining it. So, you know, if nothing else, right? Okay. 
I don't know if this is far enough back in or not. I won't be able to tell until we start seeing the debuff. Let's make a little more room here. Oh, yeah, that's got to be far enough in. I would think. Okay, guys, well, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is maybe mine up some of this stone just to clear it out of the way and make some stone piles and start um, cutting trees down and getting wood going. And then, you know, I'll duck into my little shelter as needed. And I'll bring you guys back at some point with an update on where we are. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> what I think I might actually do here is let's go to um, let's go to here and let's make this fire pit. <coughs> and I might see if I can just stick it right inside the cave so it's protected from the rain. And we might actually put our bedroll in here too. The, the more I think about it, it's more it's like, well, we might not need to actually build any kind of a shelter. Um. You know, if we can just put stuff in here. Now, I know we can't stay in here for any length of time. But, see, the problem is I can't see what the hell's going on here. I don't know. This, I mean, you'd think this would be far enough in here. So, just got to find a place where it'll go. Um, can we turn it this way a little bit? No. was it sits kind of flat right there okay let's just put that there <laughs> that's right hmm I mean can we yeah I don't know I don't know if that's gonna work because we don't want to burn ourselves it's not a I mean, we'd have to bring it all the way back in here to find room for it to fit and I don't know how if that's a good idea because of the whole pneumonia thing um, okay. Hold to pick up. Let's pick it up. And, I mean, you'd, you'd think it would have to be in this far. I, I don't know how, I, I guess from what I remember them telling me in the multiplayer game, is the time that you're in here... And when you get pneumonia, it, it varies. It's it's a random thing, so it's not like always five minutes or something like that. What? We just had a freaking storm. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Well, um, if I could just move it off to one side so I could get around it without having to stand on it, it would be okay, but it's a kind of finicky about that, isn't it? That's the only place it wants to go. Can I get around it this way? What if I crouch? Oh, okay. So if we crouch, well, we can kind of get around it. We have to kind of jump up here and crouch. So I guess the question is, um, am I, is that going to catch me on fire? Let's put uh, some meat in here too, because we're we're pretty hungry. Uh, we're gonna destroy that. We'll put the pumpkin in. Uh, the tea, the lily, the coffee beans, the soybeans—none of that's doing us any good right now. So let's just get rid of it. Okay, and we're not—we don't have the cave buff thing and it does seem to be protected from the rain okay so the question is if I need to get past here can I do that without burning my nuts oh yeah okay we got it man I don't know why it wasn't letting me doing that that in the first place okay I know it's kind of jank but hey we're just trying to make this work <laughs> as efficiently as possible here Okay, let's eat some meat. Yeah, we can put a lot of stuff in here. This is great. Okay. Can we store other things in here? 
Ooh, we can. Okay, so this is... We can actually use this as storage, too. Look at that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we'll put the extra bandages in there. Uh, we'll put the hide and the leather in here. So we're not carrying it around. I want to keep the bones with me and the fiber. Can we cook carrots? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so... For food... Let's eat that. I guess it cooks whatever's all the way on the left first, apparent, uh, according to what it looks like here. Okay. Um, O2 is going to be an issue. We have water in the cave itself. Uh, we do have run the risk of getting the parasite, but I think we'll take that risk, and if we get it, we get it. Not the end of the world. Okay, so we have water in here. We're good to go on that. At some point, you know, we can make water containers, too. Uh, but we need to go find some oxide rocks, so let's do that next. They're usually kind of along the base of the cliffs and stuff here. Here's one over here. So we'll grab that, and then um, I'm going to just start, uh, you know, harvesting some wood and stone and stuff and, and wait till morning and then we will, uh, you know, and try and get some, you know, arrows and stuff made up and then maybe we'll go try the first, um, site, uh, tomorrow morning. So guys, I'm going to cut the camera here and, um, I'll, uh, I'll keep the recorder ready to go. So if something crazy happens, I'll bring you back. Otherwise I probably won't see you guys until the morning. Um, I do have more points uh you know we're about two-thirds of the way to the next level so when that happens uh, i'll bring you back and show you what we're going to put those points in and then we'll go from there okay so see you in a bit